Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with a weekly reading for Capricorn for the week beginning the 7th of August 2017. I just want to say, if anybody would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. The link is below um, and it's it's just dead easy. OK, I think my availability for this week is pretty tight, um, but there is still some on Thursday, I think. OK, so I, I can speak to you this week if you need to. So, right. OK, Capricorn, this is going back to the past a bit. This is sort of when I'm looking at your reading, it's telling me what's happened okay and then that's why it's leading on to here so i've got to go with with how they give me it i feel like you haven't been trusting your intuition this is what is coming through here and i feel this has left you feeling a little bit rocky a little bit like you know normally like i say capricorn you know the mountain goat they like to have solid footing and this has left you a little bit wobbly here now i do feel this is connected to somebody and this somebody i'm not liking the energy of them there's there's quite a lot of manipulation and trickiness around coming in with them and it's like they're trying to take something that's yours and this has left you feeling pretty empty and like I say, wobbly. But I want to say, turn your back on that because that has sort of, it's like, do you know what I mean? That is in the past, but I still feel it's making you feel a little bit shaky here. Um, I want to say that whatever this situation is, there is success around it, okay? And there is love around it as well. Um, I feel that there is somebody around you who is, I keep saying this, with Capricorns I think there's somebody who's solid who's groundful who's groundful grounded solid grounded um and loving you know so there's a lot of love there for you so whatever emotional stuff has been going on because I feel that it has and I feel that it has cut to the core a little bit um now we've got the lunar eclipses at the moment we've also got mercury going retrograde there's a lot of crazy energies going on okay and it's taken a lot of us on sort of back down memory lane a bit and it's you know it's not always pleasant so i feel something about this situation has caused a trigger from an older situation so that's been dredged up as well and that has been sort of feeling it but what I want to say to you here is that last situation you sorted it you cut through it you've healed from it so don't allow that wound to open up again okay keep your heart open and keep looking forward this is what it's saying um now, what I feel here is it's like I don't want you to feel like you've got always got to be fighting. OK, this is what I'm getting. And there's this there's this sort of I feel there's an anger in you. There's this inner anger that you're trying to suppress, but it's there. OK, and it's 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 there and you don't like it. You don't like that part of yourself, you know, and you're trying to push it down. But it keeps brimming and brimming and brimming, you know. So really, I feel that there could be a few anger issues coming up this week for you as well you know and remember you are more powerful you okay you are not your mind and you are not your anger when anger comes in it's usually an egoic thing you know so really try and keep that in check if you free this anger go and punch a cushion or go to the gym punch a punch bag or something like that go outside and go to the top of a mountain and scream you know do something to actually release this and i feel this will help you to feel more free because it's like you don't like carrying this around with you but it's there okay and it needs some sort of release um i guess I even go to a cliff they're saying here you know and, and actually shout it you know shout it shout as loud as you can really get that primal energy out and this will help to to release it because what they're saying here is yes you might not feel that you've got solid foot and but you're a very good balancer so you can balance you know even if you're not on solid footing okay so this is it it's like I'm, I'm i feel like i'm putting my hands out and everything to keep my balance so you can there are ways that you can do it and usually i'm not going to say too much about this because i'm going to put it in one of my daily readings something spirit showed me the other day but if you keep your eye on the horizon that is often a good way to keep balance you know like trapeze artists and tightrope walkers and everything they don't look down or they don't look to the past they don't look to the future they just keep looking ahead and i feel that is what is needed for you this week at capricorn okay because i feel that there is a situation where you feel defensive i feel you've been very into yourself you've done a lot of soul searching there's there's like i say i feel that there could be a lot 
being dredged up, but you know that you can support yourself. You are wise. You know, there's a lot of wisdom coming through with this. Um, and I feel as well that there's a lot of protection. I don't know if any of you have been having problems with the back of your neck here. This could be the back of your neck. It could be your shoulders or something like this. But I feel like you're being given healing. Spirit or or giving me healing here. So I don't know if you're like head feels heavy this is it's like my head feels too heavy for my my body there so there's like i say the top of my shoulders and my neck and spirit are sort of putting a lot of healing on that um towards you as well and they're wanting to say to you you know that it's like there is new coming for you there's something new there's there's goodness it's like there's a good things can happen if that makes sense I feel at the moment as well, though, there's a little bit where you're, this is all about sort of how, you, how you're feeling, Capricorn, and I feel that you feel a little bit sort of, I don't want to say out of your depth, but there's something where you have trepidation with it, okay, that's the word that I'm thinking, trepidation, um, and I feel that, I feel that you aren't going jumping in with two feet you're sort of going in with one foot so there's a lot they're showing me here where you're sort of balancing your you're on one foot here and I feel that you there's there's a fear of being trapped a fear of being trapped and not having control so I think this is why you're holding back a little bit for yourself um and it's like it's sort of like you're waiting for the truth here they're saying you're you're waiting for the truth you're waiting for justice because there, there really seems to be this heaviness um coming in around you I don't know if any of you have been having problems with your hands no I don't want to say problems problems is the wrong thing I don't know if any of you have been feeling heat on your hands heat on the palm of on the palm of your hands here you know but I, I really feel it's like spirit are trying to you know there's, there's there's a healing needed this is it they're trying to sort of projected i'm actually feeling the heat massively when i'm when I'm, I'm i'm sitting here you know so there's there's really right okay they're saying it's something is out of your hands and they're trying to heal the situation that's what they're doing you know so you might feel useless you might feel like your hands are tied but whatever the situation is it's like spirit or sending healing to this situation they're trying to take the heaviness um away from it as well you know because like i say i feel that you're feeling burdened and sort of you know i don't know feeling burdened feeling stuck feeling in limbo you know this is this is where <coughs> i'm feeling there's so much about one foot <coughs> i don't know if any of you do tightrope walking or do trapeze stuff or do yoga or what but there's this like one foot and they're showing me like a flamingo okay don't know why they're showing me flamingos i always see flamingos as being lucky and being flamboyant and if you think you know they can stand tall and proud when they're only on the one leg they've got these little tiny skinny legs haven't they you know in this fabulous colorful pink body you know um so yeah so they're, they're really showing me this this one so i don't know if you're feeling alone as well you know there's this this is what's coming in it's this one single leg if that means anything to any of you please let me know because uh, they're showing me it here and they're often often they're quite cryptic um what i'm saying here as well though is i do feel that you want to move forward okay and you're strong enough to do but you're strong enough to do this but like i say they're saying you know you are being patient and that's a good thing you know it's like wait this out that's that's what they're saying you know there's nothing you can do but wait okay gather your thoughts together and wait because you know it's 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 pointless projecting okay you could be projecting in the completely wrong way you could be thinking something is going to be all doom and gloom when up actually it's it's the complete opposite okay we don't know we don't know that yet you know so this is saying you know 
find your security i feel that there's money coming for you as well capricorn i feel that there's going to be more money around in some way but they're saying to me save a little save a little put a little bit away for a rainy day um and they're saying here i don't know if you're like sort of a little bit lost in direction and they're saying it's like finding your way back home i don't know i don't know what that means um fights i don't know if you're like spinning you know and it's like right okay where am i where am i where am i going because it's, it's i feel like you've lost your direction you know when you're a kid and you used to play that game where you used to put the the blindfold on and spin you around in a circle and then you used to have to go and try and find your direction and it just it was all a bit like wobbly this is what i'm feeling with this so like i say i feel that there's some money coming in which will if you focus on that then this could show you that your direction or something around your home there could be something done around your home because it's saying wherever you are you're you're at home you know so find this home within yourself i feel um yeah definitely the home they've just given me they've just given me the home there but what they're giving me here around the home is a decision to be made around around the home um I feel like there could be an air sign around your home who is a little bit of an a little bit of a twat, they're saying. A little bit of an arsehole. There's something around your home. And I'm wanting to say here, be watch your watch them. I don't know if this is a neighbour. I don't feel it's somebody you're connected with because I'm looking at your home as being a happy place, okay? And I'm feeling it being it being nice and being secure and all of that and like you have nice things but i feel this could be october right they're showing me october here there is going to be a decision but i feel somebody is being sneaky now if you work if you live in a sort of gated complex or anything look at make sure somebody's not changing the rules or something like that or make sure somebody isn't taking something that's yours with boundaries or there's, there's something like that i feel that there's some some sort of judgment and it's like somebody is trying to get away with it without you actually knowing about this um but i definitely feel it's around your home and you're not aware of this you're not aware of that and they think they're sitting pretty because of this i really don't like this person this person likes control this person is sneaky is manipulative is yeah and i feel it's like it's like when your back's turned you know they're doing something that isn't right this i mean this isn't bad this isn't anything to you know this isn't you know you're not going to get burgled or anything like that but there's something around your home okay and it's um I feel this is something that's happened in the past. If any of you have landlords or anything like that, make sure they're not trying to rent your home out. You know, if you you say you're going away for a bit or something like that, make sure they're not trying to like sublet it or something like this. It's like... This is strange. This this is really strange because I feel like you're not around. This is this is what I'm getting. I don't feel if you're away from home or something like that. But they're saying protect what is yours. Protect it. Okay. This is it. I I, I feel the law. Everything is on your side with 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 this. Um. This is really strange. I uh, I'm I'm. I feel like you could be looking to maybe get work done on on your home so and this is where this could come in so it's like you could be wanting to build an extension or something like that and then there's opposition this person is saying no you know like objecting with against it you know the reason they're objecting is is it's silly it's it's stupid but it's more like a they don't want to see you well off it's like you know how can they do that where are they getting the money from where are they you know this person is somebody who just doesn't like to see anybody else getting done getting on you know or anybody else getting something done it's like they like to be 
they're saying they're like king of the castle or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what that means. But like I say, this is, I feel September and October are important around this situation. But this could be something you're talking about or whatever now. But they're saying like, keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled around this 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 issue with the home in some way. Um, I'm seeing friendships being very important to you at the moment. You know, there's friendships, there's love, there's like, you know, it's really don't hold back on things. There are a lot of things going for you, Capricorn. There really, really are. I know that there's, there, I don't know what it is that's going on, but there's something where you're looking at this mess and you're looking at, it, you know, it's like, oh God, you know, it's, it's, it's like, and they're saying it's no use crying over spilt milk. You know, that's, that's it. It's no use. Rise above this. You are you are strong okay you are strong um let your light shine as well they're saying um and i feel like like i say you know have this bit of protection but don't shut yourself off fully um september is showing me you feeling a lot more i mean it's only another month okay only another month september october next four weeks i feel i mean we've got a rocky couple of weeks anyway you know with with everything going on but i feel you were if you ride this wave you will come back victorious there is happiness coming for you capricorn there is security there is security within financial ways as well please don't stop don't worry I do feel there's a lot of anxiety here. I feel this is just because you feel like you're you're out of control. But they're saying to me here that there is, you know, there is balance coming in. Your wishes are coming true and there is a new beginning for you as well. You've just got to get the balance right. You know, that's it. It's getting the balance right. And this is all you have to do. Don't try and, you know, like... Like, look at what's real and look at what's not. Sort out what you can and, do you know what I mean, leave behind what you can't. This is this is what it's saying. Because really, when I'm looking, and especially these eclipses, they're going to show a lot for you. But it's like saying here, you have a lot of knowledge, you have a lot of wisdom around you you know allow yourself to be a bit vulnerable as well because you know there is strength in that and I feel you know that these mountains or whatever that you're seeing in front of you will actually start to start to disappear it's like you you they're saying there you've had worse okay so like I say they, they, this this is it all going back to the the, the past there so um so yeah, I hope that makes sense to you, Capricorn. I'm going to pull a spirit card. You may be struggling at the moment, but the struggle's not forever, okay? This is what I want to, what I want to say to you. Okay, so right, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Spirit card for Capricorn. Right, okay. Soulmate. And this is saying love, partnership, magnetic attraction between two people. This is union. You will discover a deep sense of yourself through a relationship with another. Okay, so this is it. It's like allow yourself to be vulnerable. This is, you know, relationships are here to help you grow. And whatever this is, you know, if we have a look, there's a lot of deep reds, which are passion, but they're also your root chakra as well. This is keeping you grounded. Uh, there's a lot of yellows and there's a lot of <coughs> um, oranges as well. So this is your bottom chakras. So this is your root chakra, which is all about your security, your sacral chakra, which is all about your emotions, your sexuality, your pleasure zone, and your solar plexus, which is about your personal power. And when you have a relationship like this, this allows you to be like that. There's no power struggles, okay? There's just sort of like enhancing your power being free with your emotions and feeling safe to do that okay so this is what's what's coming in so i hope that made sense to you um if anybody would please let me know if it did uh if anybody would like a personal reading with me then please get in touch via my website as i've said the link is below and then i can read for you and maybe help you navigate through these stormy waters that are here at the minute because it's it's like i say the next couple of weeks eclipse season is always it's always very enlightening but it's like sort of sometimes tough lessons you know so it's like you know um don't expect smooth sailing this is this is what i want to say with this it won't be but it will will be worth it you know and then eventually you know that's sort of like you know it makes the ride a little bit more thrilling 
Okay, so have an absolutely fabulous week, Capricorn. Satnam. <laughs>